Family, let me greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. My name is Patience Lukele. The word of encouragement today will come from the book of Acts chapter 11, verse 23. The title of my message is Encouraging One Another. This is based on the story of Barnabas. Uh, after Stephen's persecution, we all know that the Christians scattered all over. But the Christians that were in the church of Antioch, of Syria, they continued to preach the gospel of God. So after the church of Jerusalem had that, they sent Barnabas down to the church of Antioch to see how the Christians were doing there. After When Barnabas got there, what he saw made him to be more joyful. The evidence that he saw there made him to be more joyful and he encouraged the children of God to stay true to the word of God. So today I would like to invite each and every one of us to wake the Barnabas within us. We all know when you read the book of Acts chapter 4, Barnabas was known as the son of encouragement. They were calling him like that, that the son of encouragement, because it was the meaning of his name, Barnabas. What he did in Acts chapter 4, Barnabas as an encourager, he sold his own field and gave the money to the apostles to take care of the needy Christians. So today as a country, as the world, we are facing a pandemic. We can't gather, we can't visit our families, we can't see our friends. Some of us can't even go to work. So as the children of God, we still need to continue to encourage one another. We can send a scripture, you can send a prayer because wherever we are, it is easily for us to be discouraged. So today I would like to invite each and every one of us to wake the encourager within us and be like Barnabas. Again, when you read uh, the book of Acts 15, Mark earlier left uh, Paul and Barnabas while they were still preaching the word of God. When they decided to go back and check all the churches they visited before, Paul never wanted to go uh, with Mark again. But, but Barnabas took Mark with him and they went and then Paul took Silas with him. So today as the children of God, it's just a word of encouragement to you to say, let us continue to encourage one another. Again, when you read the book of uh, 1 uh, Timothy, Paul spoke the that you mustn't rebuke the older men, but instead encourage the older men as your father. So today it's just for us to continue to be an encourager's church wherever we are and continue to give hope that even we are facing these circumstances, we will conquer. Jesus again, Barnabas is not only the example, but Jesus again did that when he spoke with the woman who was caught in adultery. In John 8 verse 11, Jesus says, neither do I condemn you. He spoke encouraging word to that woman. So today let us be encouragers and continue to be the church that will be encouragers to individuals, to group through our social media, through our Zoom, through our Skype. Let us continue to share the word of God, to give the people. You will never know who needs it simpler. There are many people, when you think of it, there are many people that are discouraged nowadays. So I would like us to continue to be encouragers to one another. Let us just pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory. Lord Almighty, today we choose to wake the Barnabas within us. Give us the strength, Lord, to be encouragers to one another. Heavenly Father, with our own strength, we cannot do it. But through you, Lord Almighty, we can be able to do it. Heavenly Father, we invite you as we are encouraging one another. Be the leader of us, be the guider of us. Father, we say, Ebenezer, thank you for your protection. Thank you for loving us dearly. In Jesus' name, amen.